Utah bound. Utah bound, baby. Utah bound. Bitch, your boomer and want some more, nigga. What's up, y'all? Just coming at you live from the airplane. Look at that. Mm. I probably passed out. I'm not passed out. Everybody behind us. In the front of us. Mm. I'm taking over his YouTube channel this week. Be ready. Greatness is coming out. Yes! That's awesome! What? You just took one in the jugular, man. Huh. Whoa. Yes! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I did. Is this bad? Is this bad? You should pull that out. That shit is not cool. Come on The door, man. You got a fucking door in your neck. Hotel room now. Just gonna settle it in. That hotel life, baby. That hotel life. Yeah, you have to go to the front. So let me show you what's all up in here while everybody gets checked in. Walk in, you got the bathroom, shower, all this big stuff. That's a hell of a year. Then I got the beds. And look at all this view, man. Look like El. Look like we in Mexico out here, y'all. Look at this El Chapo Jr. What you said? El Chapo, Chapo, I'm done. Yeah, we really do a ghetto out here, though. Low key. Salt Lake City, what a good spot, set. Kind of scared for my life. Damn, man. JK. But we out here. It's lit. It's lit. The streets, man. So hot and warm. Glad to be away from the East Coast. Snowing like a dog right now, probably over there. <laughs> the mountains got snow on them, so. Spark Street, whatever you want to call it, to eat. Got good reviews from buddy Dalton from it. So, eat there. Get some good. Dang, this place is crowded, y'all. God, In this park right now. Federal police come out of here. I'm like, what are you guys doing out here? And we're like, just hanging out, waiting to go to the restaurant. Freaking come out here. We're on like federal property, like all right here. So like, what in the heck are they doing? Yeah, right so here. we out here delinquents. We out here, we out here doing, you know, Woo! doing that bad stuff. So ain't been here, a, ain't been here an hour, and we already getting encounters with the Utah PD. So hey, we need to keep a low radar out here. Oh my god, there's so many. many. He is too many. <laughs> too many. <laughs> the wisest thing I've ever heard about was the one of Whatever the IPA is 789% or whatever. Interesting. You've got to go to a liquor store. A state liquor store. That's crazy. Wow. We're just... in freaking Walmart now. And hopefully get a basketball. <laughs> so these fools can play some basketball because I'm not playing any basketball because, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm trash. Get out. I'm trash. So uh, everyone get a basketball, soccer ball. Food was good. Food was good. We hooping. They hooping. I'm not hooping because you know I'm trying. Later. Stuff right there. The olive oil. Yeah. Smell just like my lady. Oh yeah. You smell like your lady. Man. Please. Man. Oh. You gotta have the, 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 the plaque remover. No. Now this is his right here. Oh, it's right behind me. There we go. Right there. Why does it gotta be that? 
Yeah, that's got to be the stuff, man. Well, for Ninja one, Turtles. for one, Colgate is not good for you. See, that's why. See, that's why he don't he don't listen to me, man. Because his smile is not as good as mine. So, son, you man, be Colgate. Look. Use Colgate. So I ended up picking up two things at Walmart. Got some facial cleanse cleanser. Gonna help with the acne, since you guys see all the pimples, pimples and whatnot on my face. And then picked up. Some lotion because you know uh, your boys stay ashy so two things picked up here hopefully that's all i need and uh yeah black man frogs shoot you want to take a minute and go through it make our first major decision where's our mom yo is that uh yeah this is what i said it's forgetting it What is up guys? Welcome to this commentary. I want to talk to you guys over this workout uh, here in Salt Lake City. So here we go. Awesome, incredible hotel gym that you're seeing right now. Stayed in two great hotel gyms the past two weeks and uh, had some really, really good workouts in them. So today was chest and back day. So really just focused and did the best I could and showed you guys the, the best you could do pretty much in a hotel gym that has you know a decent amount of equipment. So start off with three sets of pull-ups right here on this hoist machine, uh, really focusing, grinding. I did about 10 reps per uh, set, then moved on to uh, some incline press with uh, as much as this went up to was about 50s. So did that. And really focused on coming all the way down and coming all the way up, back up as much as I possibly could. And I did uh, anywhere between uh, 15 reps, I think I did on this, because uh, it only goes up to 50. So in a gym where you don't have a lot of uh, heavy weight, do just burn out the reps and do as many reps as you possibly can. Then I superset this whole, whole every move you're going to see here, superset it, did supersets for everything because I just want to get in, get out. And hit it hard. So super set with this kind of weird kind of contraption here, and uh, really squeeze. Uh, pronated the hands at first, and then twisted them almost into, almost into a supination, and then uh, yeah, did several sets of incline, and uh, like I said, really focused on squeezing. Upper chest is something I'm really, really, really trying to grow. Um, even a little bit early in this cut, uh, trying to get it as much as as strong and strenuous as possible and uh trying to just trying to just build it it's something that you know i really focused you know my freshman year focused on decline i was all on decline i was on decline then i focused on flat you know these last year and a half and focused on flat focusing on flat and now just to focus on you know incline more uh it's something i've really you know neglected and i really want to do more of so you're gonna see me doing a lot more incline you know barbell dumbbell all that stuff because uh, I think I already have a pretty developed upper chest, but I want it to be even that much better. I want to have some cleavage action, as they say. And, uh, yeah. So then we moved on to some some chest flies, man. Some chest flies that really, really burn out the chest. Uh, I did use 40s here. Kept the elbows slightly bent. And uh, tried to bring the numbers as close together as I possibly could. And squeeze you know, another the movement's gonna help work that upper chest and help uh, get that thing developed and uh, nice and puckered up on the upper chest as well. So I really, really did three sets on this again. I think I did 15 reps again with the 40s and just I think I know 12 reps actually. Sorry about that. 12 reps and uh, superseted it with lat pull downs with these two uh, handles right here and really, really squeezed. I kind of almost paused at the bottom and kind of came up. And uh, it was, like I said, this is a weird contraption I've never seen. I guess it's a, you know, a do-it-all machine right here. And uh, it really, really felt good, you know, kind of leaned back here so I could kind of engage the lats more and kind of fill it in my lats. And it really, really felt good. Uh, it was something different. Then I moved on to the cable chest flies. Uh, here you see, not coming back, trying not to come back too far, trying to keep the elbows somewhat bent and trying to bring those pinkies together you know really kind of scooping into the movement and scooping up with the chest and squeezing as possible as much as i possibly can so i can you know feel the contraction in the chest and, and squeeze so this was really another movement you could do on this machine if you're at a hotel and, and there's a machine like this try it out i superseted it with uh dumbbell rows here it's alternating arms really focusing on leading with the elbow and pulling back and uh did uh, 10 reps per side with the 50s 
and squeezing at the top, trying to just trying to work my lats as much as I can. Cause my back, I want it to, you know, I want it to be wired. I want it to be, you know, more strenuous and more, you know, defined. And sometimes I feel like, you know, I don't hit it well enough on my chest days. I kind of focus more on chest instead of my back. So I really, really, really wanted to hit a lot of volume on my back today and just and just burn the heck out of my back. And here I finished off with my last superset. Uh, back taking it back all the way back to my P90X days. See, it took me a little while to get into it, uh, but I finally did. Uh, the four ball medicine ball push ups it works everything, every muscle group you can possibly think shoulders, chest, uh, core, legs, you know, stability, keeping your legs on there, everything possible at work. And I uh, just felt really good to get back into these and try these. It was, I saw the medicine balls in the gym and I was like, I was, I was like, I'm hitting chest today. I gotta do these. Gotta take it back to my roots. So that was great. Then I did these um, uh, dumbbell pullovers. I think that's what they call for my back. Uh, movement. I'm, I really don't do that much because it kind of feels weird to me. I don't know if I'm just doing it wrong or what. But uh, I kind of did kind of lightweight, bring the weight over, over top of my chest, and really trying to feel it in my back, in middle part of my back and my lats. So this was the workout I did. It's gonna be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, vlogs coming every day from Salt Lake City, so subscribe and stay tuned for all of that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you guys.